Again, leading the way for the catch to the top of the batting order, a guy that does it all, Tanner Witt. Yes, uh, Tanner's an old-time baseball player. He's one of those guys that shows up every day, plays hard. He could play any of the outfield positions, could play the infield, did when he was did earlier in his career. Also, is the closer out of the bullpen. Has three saves, a 3.0 earned run average. One of those valuable guys in college baseball you have to have with the limited number of rosters. He can really help a great ball club out playing a lot of different positions. A guy that hit 350 in Big 12 play a year ago starting to get hot for the Wildcats. He is six for his last 14 in the last couple of games. And you can see Al Mabound, the closer for the Wildcats. Does he get an opportunity today to close out a victory for the Wildcats? Try to help the team win, um, and he's doing that in a number of different ways this year. He's been playing in the outfield. He's obviously covered some center field that Jared's been hurt, coming in, closed out some games for us. And any way he can help the team win, he's doing that. You know, he, he's a kid again that's kind of been bounced around, but, but uh, again, he's just a good athlete. He can run, he can throw. You know, he can get on the mound and pitch. He can play three or four different positions for us. And again, if you want to put the definition of a ball player, that would be Tanner Witt. This all there. Kind of being led by a young man in Tanner Lent that's doing it all right now. He's not only playing in the outfield, a converted middle infielder, but also stepping up and pitching on the mound, still sporting an ELA in his perfect zero, picking up his first strikeout in his career in his last time out on Tuesday night. Coach Tanner Witt's kind of been one of those young men that has been uh, slowly working his way into the lineup and being both in a reserve role and as a starter last year in the middle infield. Boy, he's really seemed to have taken to being in the outfield, providing some good defense, and then also playing on the mound. Good attitude from this young man. No, no question. He's been doing a great job and continues to mature as a player and as you know as a teammate and as a as a leader on the team. And we need him to continue to develop. He's a junior and and uh, kind of been thrust into that role now. He's he's doing a great job for us. He started out left. He's played some right. He's pitching and if that zero point zero zero red, probably should be pitching more. <laughs> but uh, you know he's stepping up now and leading off for us and. And uh, he's been anywhere from one, two, and nine kind of in the lineup, and now he's leading off. But, you know, you look at his on-base percentage, his walks, his stolen bases, those are all things that that, uh, that uh, he brings to the table. Very, very competitive at the plate, and, and uh, you know, that's something we've been looking at, too. He has a, has a great uh, knack for competing and finding a way with two strikes just to, to find a way to find a hole. Um, so, again, his game continues to develop for him. One of the things that he's shown in right field, of course, is that cannon of an arm that he has. And in the game against Northern Colorado on Wednesday, one, he tried to pull off the, the right fielder's dream play, which is 
throwing a guy out at first after a base hit, and then comes back in the very next play and picks him off at first base. That gives you a new weapon out there in right field. No question. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, it was, the first one was maybe just a little out of, out of uh, uh, trying to make something special happen, but the second one was a great play. The second one was a really great play and really got us out of the jam, to be honest with you, because that was a huge out, and they had runners at first and third, and less than two outs, and that, that would have been an opportunity for them to score. So that was really a big, big defensive play. He not only has been doing it at the plate, but as you mentioned, also on the mound. Another guy that's been staying there to do it, they'll need more offense. Tanner Witt leads it off. He's the guy to kind of get it going as a spark plug. Since Kansas State's moved into the leadoff uh, position, the offense has gotten better. They're starting to do things, be able to play the short game. Tanner can do anything, play any place. He's a big spark plug for the Cats, and we're looking forward to seeing him lead the Cats today. A guy that can throw, may even close out a game, but also play anywhere in the outfield, and of course an infielder by trade. On the other talking about Tanner and his versatility for the Wildcats. While not an overwhelmingly great day offensively, he did drive in a run with a sacrifice fly. Tanner Witt now does what he does best for K-State as well, and that's close out games. Those are for the Wildcats looking to nail it down to the night. Cats up one run. You see the line on Witt this year. Hard throwing right-hander despite his size. They only stand at 5'10", but he's got a power arm, up over 90. The 01, slider low, one and one. The 2-2 two -two pitch, strike three call. David Wiley in the habit of... for a straight nothing and one. Sixth inning, two to one K-State. But again set, brings in another breaking pitch. This is a slider, nothing and two. He's got Lambert where he wants him. In the series, the 0-1. Change up for a strike. The three in the ninth. Turn and throw back to second base and got him. Whip picks off. Alex Silver. Runner starts to take off from first, but there's a swing and miss anyway.
Now here's a strike from base for Mike Hill's ball club, the one state. Hit 390 that year with two home runs. Had a pretty good shortstop named Robbie Price next to it. Two balls and one strike. There's a fastball right down the middle. That's the pitch he would like to have turned. Fans on their feet. The 0-1 to Wilson. Change up for a strike. It's 0-2. center field, singling in, he's still going back, he won't get it, it's up over his head, Witt is going to bid for three, big turnaround second, the relay throw, not close, and Witt is in with a triple. center field. This will be extra bases. Tanner hits first on his way to second. Maitland gets there quickly. A leadoff double for Kansas State to begin the bottom of the fifth. He lead yesterday but couldn't hold it. Hot shot right side base hit. Tanner went. That's the third time he's been on. He's got a pair of hits and a out and dumps it in the right field for a base hit. Pitch was up on the outside part of the plate. Tanner does his job, singles to right. And Kyle Spear, who started in the first game and went one for three. Didn't panning. Pitch a little bit inside, just kept his hands inside and just drove it right up the middle. You know, I, I think he's going to wish Nebraska... <laughs> Well, he's the moves runner over. Yeah, he did. Day there for Austin Slater and Tanner Witt. Kansas State, five hits, four ribbies, and a 9-1 win against Nebraska in an old Big 12 matchup. Of course, Nebraska now. And a ground ball up the middle, through for a hit. Setting it rounds third. He will score, and the senior Witt has tied the game. And a wild pitch coming down from third is Witt. He scores! And 
second error of the night. Park had a long way to go to get the baseball. And a great shot via K-State HD TV. The hand got in, the tag never touched wit. It hooked on the corner of the base. A two base error on Crudo. And a whale of a slide by Tanner Witt. That's professional. And the left fielder for Wildcats, the senior, is walking right now for K-State. Alive. Now Tanner Witt, first pitch set up the middle in the center. Three times in his advance and with two outs a runner on for the Cats, Ross Kibbett. That is just a situation where you've got a kid that's really competing up at the plate. That was a little cut fastball or a little slider that was breaking into him with everything. All the other pitchers have been going away from wet and he just stayed on it and just golfed it into center field. That That's competing at the plate. That isn't giving in to the pitcher. In wet squares early, steps up in the box. Pushes it first base side, a beautiful bunt, does its job, hold back, flips it to... You're on it. Yeah! He's in, he's in there. Yeah! his head. Witt with great speed turns around third. He will make it without a throw and Shane Con The one two. Hammer down the left field line. Fair ball down into the corner. The board rounds third. He'll score. Witt hammering in the second and he'll be there standing up with an RBI double. What a boy. He flies this into right center field. Davis called off by Witt. Tanner's going to come up firing his throw to the plate right on the money. The tag applied. Got him at the plate. Tanner Witt throws that shot at Pitch lifted down the left field line. It's going to push it away from Witt. Tanner gets there, though, sliding on his backside in foul territory. Going back, Witt on the run makes the tie with a smoke home catch. He took a terrible angle to that baseball, but what a grab by Tanner Witt. 
standing ovation for Witt, the converted shortstop, who on a dead sprint was able to dive and grab it in the glove. So two outs and nobody on for Tim Maitland. Driven deep to the alley in left center. Witt tracks it down, winds up diving. Armander is robbed, and that does oh, it. Tanner's momentum is taking him to the left field line. He gets it on one hop, and foul tour, tour takes a step and throws a BB right to Kevin. 9 4 put out. Two outs in the inning, despite the base hit by Carson. Uh -huh. That said, first pitch at Kelly after a strike from Mathis is pumped into the corner. Went on it quickly, but scooting into the Done that. Brown ball sharply hit the right to Tanner Witt. He'll backhand and fire across in time. First from three complete games. A little ground ball to second. Brown flips to short for one. Wits throw back to first in time and a double play. It's to Witt has rounded up the middle for a base hit. So Witt a two hit day. And a first hit of the night by K State. The jump slits 2-2. There's a bounce in the head of short. Tanner Witt is right. Rounds across the diamond. Saturdays at home here for K-State. Brown ball sharply hit up the middle. Great stuff. Tanner went to his feet. Throw the first.
Chase down from third is win. He scores! And Chase made his one the Big 12!